Hi there, my name is Mary Jo Currier and this is Chef Kusher. We're from St. Anne's Spa. Today, Kusher, you're going to help us learn how to make German fruit bread, which yes. is also called stolen. Thank you. So thanks for having me today. Uh, we will get started with our dough, but our recipe is posted on our website. And what we basically are doing is making a dough out of our gluten-free flour, butter, fruits, liquor, milk, sugar, and some orange zest uh, mixed with some sugar. So I'm just going to show you, as we know, we don't have so much time to you know yes. produce the dough. So we will just get started with the dough. So once you have your dough ready, you basically roll it out with a rolling pin. And in and case people didn't hear you, this is gluten-free, so that's... Yes. That's the advantage for all our gluten-free viewers. Yeah. This is basically rolled marzipan. Marzipan is nothing but ground almond paste. You can buy it in the grocery stores. So I have my dough rolled. Marzipan is lined up. All I have to do is basically just give it a fold. Okay. And you will find that the dough will be slightly dry, but because it's rich in fruit, once it start, starts baking, it will create its own moisture and it will be pretty moist for itself. So. Okay. Now there is a classical way where a German stolen has a little hump. So this is basically what you find in a German stolen. So it has a little hump. Okay. So we have our dough ready here. All we do is we put it in the oven for baking at 300 Fahrenheit for an hour and a half. So it's a slow baking. And once it's baked, we have it basted with melted butter. And then we have it rolled in sugar. Okay. okay. Later in the show, we'll continue with our German stolen. We'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back to St. Anne's Spa, where Chef Kuscher is teaching us how to make German Stollen. Ours happens to be gluten-free, and we're just about to finish it off. So, Chef, if you can take over. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, we have this stolen baked, and while it's still warm, you want to baste it with melted butter. And you can soak it as much as you like. So, just dab it while it's hot, so it will soak the butter as much as you would like to soak it with. Once it comes to room temperature, the butter might not be able to seep through the bread. So you want to do that while it's still warm. So once it's soaked, all you do is kind of have some icing sugar dabbed on it. The reason why we're putting icing sugar is also just to keep the bread moist. And also it will give a nice um, festive look and a good uh, sugar crunch on the bread. All right, And this can be made beforehand. So the longer it sits, the better it tastes. So this is, and I'm going to present you right now one piece. Now this is pretty hot right now. Generally you let it cool down completely before you serve it. Thank so you. you will have a little layer of marzipan in between. Mm, sounds great. Thank you for joining us today on this week's version of Intermission. And thank you Chef Kushu. We'll see you next time.